Go for it. <laughs> I'm just going to click that. So hi guys, I'm Courtney. Um, I'll be your teacher today. Um, I have been in the dog grooming industry for six years. Um, I've taught people for a good few years and currently have just gone into an academy um, that trains people on four week intensive courses, all about dog grooming so they can open up their own business and be the best dog groomer they can be. Um, so I just want to go around and get everyone's names if they've got a dog um, and any experience they've had either in dog grooming or if they've even health checked an animal before. Um, so if you want to go around the group and just let us know. So Joff, do you want to yeah, start? I'll start. Uh, uh, my name is Joff. Uh, I don't have a dog currently. I have had dogs in the past, not for a long time because I live in the city and I don't believe in having dogs in the city. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've had to comb long haired animals and it's a massive pain in the bum. <laughs> awesome. Ria? Um, hi, my name is Ria. Um, I do not have a dog, but my cousin, she does. And um, um, his name is Google. And, uh, he's three years old and he's lovely. Um, yeah. Awesome. Okay. And Stuart? Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I've had a few dogs. Um, I had a little Labrador cross uh, with a staff called Mario. Oh, um, yeah, he he he. I used to take him to the groomer every every two weeks. Okay. Um, yeah. Just because he liked the person. <laughs> so not whether he needed it or not, he just liked the person. He used to settle down quite well there. So, but yeah, he was he was a, he 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 was a nice little pup. Lovely. Obviously, I haven't got him anymore um, due to moving, but yeah. Lovely, awesome. And Richie. Oh, you're on mute. Okay, can't Not speak. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Okay. And um, so if I could get you guys to make some notes during um, and throughout. So the aim today is for you guys to be able to list three points of the health check, what we're looking for in those points, and also why do we do the health check? Um, and um, so the objectives, list three points and what we're looking for. Um, and then at the end, we're just going to see if we can explain why, why we're able to do this and see if you guys feel confident. Um, so I'm going to start with why we do the health check. So we do the health check before the start of the dog groom. We want to make sure that the dog is in good health. Um, there's no issues with the dog. If we see obviously anything that could affect the groom, we obviously need to let the owner know. And um, they may actually need a vet visit before they even come in there just to get the all okay that they're all right. Um, we wanna make sure that there's no matting on the dog. Obviously, if there is any matting, we need to be aware of this. Um, there may be extra charges because it's wear and tear. Um, if there's any fleas, um, unfortunately, that is actually a really common thing to find in uh, pets. Um, so we do check the dog over for fleas. There can be extra charges. Um, most dog groomers actually charge about £10 extra. So that's the flea shampoos and also to treat the salon and the rest of the dogs that day. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to check Nelly and make sure that she would be all OK for the groom. Um, and check over, we're going to speak through everything that we do uh, during the health check. <laughs> so I'm just going to bring it over Nelly. So Nelly's currently laying down on the floor. So, oh, come on, Nelly. Good girl. Don't work with animals, people. It's <laughs> so this is Nelly. She's a seven month old Labrador. Um, she is very used to being groomed, touched, pulled about. Um, so with the health check, we always start at the top of the head and work methodically down. Um, so firstly, I'm going to look in Nelly's eyes. So Nelly's eyes are nice and clear. They're bright. There's no discharge, um, any redness or cloudiness. Um, any discharge or cloudiness could mean either they could be going a little bit blind. If there's discharge, there could be an infection. Um, but as you can see, Nelly's got nice, clear, bright eyes. And then we're going to move down to the nose. So Nelly's nose is nice and moist. There's no dryness there. Um, and it's nice and clear when you have a little look in there. So there's no discharge coming out, uh, meaning that she is nice and healthy. Um, if there is anything like that, you would just let the owner know. 
um, again, could lead to an infection. Unfortunately, we're not vets, so we cannot say for sure, but we can obviously advise vet treatment and going over there. And then I'm just going to look in Nelly's mouth. <laughs> so I'm going to check Nelly's gums over. So Nelly's actually got quite dark gums because she is a dark colored dog. Um, so it's sometimes a little bit harder to tell, but you can see she's actually got pink parts on her gum. Um, and they're a nice pink, salmon pink color. And that's what we look for in a gum. If it's slightly white or blue, there could be something going on internally. Um, so we need to let the owner know. Um, also, while we're looking at the gums, we can see her lovely pearly whites. So she has got beautiful teeth, obviously being a young puppy anyway there's not really going to be too much going on there. You do look for broken teeth um, or any plaque. There can be plaque buildup, um, which could mean that there could be like a, a gum disease, um, anything going on. So we obviously need to check for that. And then I'm going to move on to her ear. So looking at Nellie's ear, it's a nice pale, <laughs> pale white colour. And um, the colours that we look for is either a nice pale white um, or a light pink. If it's quite dark, if it's got an odour, um, or if it's overly dirty, there could be something going on there. There could be a possible infection. Um, there could be ear mites if it's really, really dirty. So if we notice anything, if there's like a, a bit of an odour, we'd let the owner know uh, to go check it out at the vets. And obviously we may have to avoid that area during the group. So next, <laughs> you might not be able to see it as much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check over Nelly's coat I'm gonna look at her skin. So she's got quite a thick coat. So I really have to separate the hair um, and look at the, uh, the skin underneath her. So she's got lovely pale skin. Uh, there's not much dryness there. Um, she's actually got really nice healthy skin. So when we're checking over the coat, we wanna make sure that there's no lumps and bumps, any warts. Um, there could also be, this is where we look for the coat as well. So if there's any matting, there's knots. Um, obviously, we need to make the owner aware of those, that we need to take those out. They might have to go a little bit shorter. Um, obviously, Nellie's a nice short haired breed, so she's, she's not going to have any knots, but she could, you know, she could have any skin issues. This is also where we look for at the flea pit. <clears throat> if there's any fleas, um, the indication of this is obviously you may see them running around um, or they've got dark little bits of poo. Uh, so flea, flea poo is actually the dog's blood because obviously they, they feed off of the poo, uh, off of the blood. Um, so they leave really dark little bits um, all over the hair. The best way to test whether it is fleas is we get a damp cloth and just rub it over the, uh, the coat. If it comes off like an orangey, dark, reddy colour, that means that there could be an indication of fleas. Uh, if you're still not sure, we always check the armpits around the bum and the groin because they're the most common places for where the fleas like to live. So moving on, I'm gonna have, I felt all over Nelly's body. So then I'm just gonna move over to her legs. <laughs> so I'm gonna feel down her legs, making sure she's nice and comfortable for me being able to feel her foot. So I'm just gonna have a little look at Nelly's foot. So her paw pads um, are actually nice and they're not dry or cracked. They're nice and healthy. Um, that means that, you know, she's, she's not, damaged them in any way. Um, so she has got a nice healthy foot. I'm also gonna have a little feel of her foot if there's any lumps and bumps, especially around this time of year, you can get grass seeds in between the toes, um, which could cause infections. Um, Nellie's nice and clear of those. Also, I'm gonna look at her nails while we're here. So Nellie actually needs her nails clipping at the moment. So I can see a couple of ones that are a little bit longer. So I would look at you know, letting the owner know that the nails need a little bit of clipping, but otherwise the nails are actually nice and healthy. They're not cracked or broken. Um, they're actually in a nice, you know, uh, good, good condition. So yes, Nelly is nice and healthy. So next, <laughs> Nelly is upside down. So I'm just going to move her over here. So next I move on to her groin area. So this is where we would look at the genitals. Uh, so Nelly is a little girl, so it is based around here. Um, if I look at her genitals, they're actually nice and healthy colour. There's no discharge. Um, if there is any discharge, we would have to let the owner know ASAP, um, as they would possibly need to go to the vets. It can actually be quite a rare, there can be quite a few life-threatening uh, 
conditions that especially female dogs can get if there's any discharge around there. Um, this would also be a, re a good way to check if they're in season. Obviously, if there's any little, little bits of blood coming out um, or if the vulva is quite swollen, we may be aware that the dog is in season. So it could actually act differently during the groom. Um, some dogs at dog grooming places don't actually uh, groom dogs in season. So lastly, I'm just going to look at Nellie's anus. Uh, so Nellie's anus is actually a nice, healthy colour. There's no uh, crusting, scabs um, or any abscesses around there. So she's actually got a nice, healthy colour. Um, so it means that she's got no issues there um, and she is all OK to be groomed. So we have actually now health checked Nellie in full. We've checked over her whole body. She's actually moving all OK as well. So there's no stiffness there. Um, which means that there is nothing to really be worried about for Nelly. Um, so we're able to carry on with her groom. So next we, next we are going to go have a little look. So if I'm going to go around. Um, and if I could get you guys to note three, three of the points uh, we look for in the health check and what we were looking for. So firstly, we'll start with Joff. Uh, checking the eyes to make sure that they are clear and there's no discharge coming from them. Perfect, yeah. Uh, three each, we're going to do different ones. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nose, make sure it's moist, not dry, and there's no discharge again. Check inside it. Uh, and then next, the gums, they should be pink, not white or blue. Perfect. Rhea? <laughs> um, sorry. It's okay, don't worry. Did you want to come back to you or? No, no, no. Um... <laughs> Yeah, if you can. Yeah, yeah that's fine. No worries, Steve. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that disconnection. My internet started to play up. <laughs> no worries. It uh, basically, uh, obviously, check their um, coat types. Obviously, the the fur. Make sure it's all there's no fleas, mm -hmm. everything else like that. Um, to do so, I've got it written down everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Um, two seconds, because everything's playing up for me today. <laughs> uh, obviously, skin condition as well, obviously, with the coat, obviously, when you're checking the gossip, it can cause fleas, and obviously, that can cause problems with the, with the skin. Uh, make sure there's no rashes and bits and pieces like that. Um, obviously, the eyes and the ears, as obviously Josh touched on as well. Um, yeah make sure there's nothing wrong with them make sure there's no discharge and everything else like that yeah um teeth make sure they're healthy yeah no that's great you've got your three points you're perfect <laughs> i've written them all down <laughs> awesome ria have you thought of any i was going to say eyes um yeah. and the eyes and nose if there's any discharge um then obviously there's some sort of infection going on you said which mm -hmm. Uh, it's, it's a concern. Um, also, the gums, you said, if they dark gums, if they're not pink, salmon pink, um, then again, there could be like a concern there as well. Um, and you check out for the broken teeth, um, any sort of gum disease, um, lips as well. Did you say lip? Um, so if dark, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry yeah. um, if, so lips and things like that, if they're dark as well, it could be sort of infection as well, you said. Um, also, the fleas. Um, so you would check against the head direction to see if there's any fleas. Um, and if you may see them running around if there is there. And um, um, no, that's perfect. You've got. Okay, thank that's you. I'm so sorry. Well <laughs> Richie, reading everything I wrote down. Um, I just put in about eyes, cloudiness of the eyes, and gunk and discharge, broken teeth, disfiguration of the colour of the gums. Awesome. Well done. Okay, perfect. So can anyone tell me why the uh, health check is important for the groom? So I'm going to leave that open. Whoever wants to shoot that at me, go for it. <laughs> uh, so, so that you can make sure you can charge them extra for additional materials. Like uh, if they've got fleas, you can charge them an extra tenner is what I picked up. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Can anyone add to that? <laughs> Um, it's basically all in all is the health of the animal. Um, if the if the animal's not healthy, then obviously it makes your job harder. But then you've got to give that news to the owner. So um, 
it, it, in a way, it's a bit of empathy duty and a bit of careness for the animal and in case the owner didn't know doesn't know certain things yeah no awesome so to recap yeah you guys have actually got it so we health check the dog to make sure that they are all okay uh during the groom um to make sure that they're all okay to actually have the groom done and um, any things that are sticking out there like you say any eyes ears nose if there's anything that actually sticks out that you know could affect the groom um any matting or anything like that. So yeah, you guys have absolutely got it. Is there any questions you guys would like to ask me about today? How much does dog groom cost? Yeah. So it depends really. Uh, so it can it can range, obviously, if you've got a small little chihuahua that's short haired, it might cost about 20 pounds. If you've got a big, you know, Bernie's mountain dog, uh, then it could, you know, cost you around about 60 and up. But it is very different throughout the country. Uh, some cases are a little bit cheaper than others. Um, I mean, for Nelly, we would charge around about 30 pounds to have her groomed. Um, but she gets it for free. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, perfect. Any other questions or are we all okay? So how often would you advise getting a dog groomed? So we would say no more than once a month for bath and brushes. Um, and for haircut grooms, I would probably say every round about six to eight weeks. Um, certain dogs can have longer, um, but that's, that's a rough guide, I'd say. Okay. okay. Anyone else? Are we all good? Yep, good. Awesome. I think we're done, Martin. <laughs> Where is he? He's gone. He's gone. <laughs>